Meet John. He's a senior engineer for a global manufacturer. John's company has been trying to manage its entire compute environment, but discovered that it will take a lot of resources and they don't have some of the skill sets they need. John is pretty tech savvy, so he decides to try to build his own virtualization solution. After doing some research online, he tries to design his own server system, but he quickly realizes that he doesn't have the expertise to sort through all of the options. John assembles an internal team of experts on servers, switches, cabinets, and software. They spend five weeks coming up with a solution they think will work. John submits six different POs for the different components they'll need. The hardware and software arrive eight weeks later. Next, John has to coordinate an electrician to cable the cabinet, an installer to rack and stack it, and two IT professionals to install and configure the hardware and software. After resolving a couple of unexpected glitches, their DIY virtualization solution is finally up and running. From start to finish, it takes John and his team 16 weeks to complete the project. A month later, a technician notifies John that he can't see any data on the HMI. John logs in and discovers that the connection is dead. After spending a frustrating week being bounced around between multiple vendors and his own IT department to troubleshoot the issue, John discovers his CPU usage is maxed out. And on top of that, there's an issue with the server's warranty information. He realizes that he needs IT to create a new HMI server and he'll have to wait another three days to get a server deployed. During this time, production has been impacted, and so has John's productivity. Meet Jane. She's an engineering manager for a global beverage company. Jane's company has also been trying to manage its compute environment. Her company has the same challenges as John's. They don't have the resources to spare, and they lack some of the skill sets needed. Jane decides to use Rockwell Automation Services to build, manage, and support her virtualization infrastructure. Meet Bob, a Rockwell Automation Project Manager and Jane's dedicated point of contact. Bob talks with Jane to understand her system and requirements. He determines that a Rockwell Automation Industrial Data Center is the right solution for Jane's needs. Six weeks later, Bob dispatches Andy, a Rockwell Automation Network Services Consultant, to Jane's plant to configure the new industrial data center and set up the remote monitoring service. From start to finish, Jane has had one point of contact for delivering her virtualization solution and has been able to get the project done in half the time that John did. A few months later, Jane gets a call from Anu, a Rockwell Automation Remote Support Engineer. Anu lets her know that she got an alarm saying her CPU usage on her virtual machine is approaching 85%. Anu recommends that a new virtual machine be deployed with an HMI server on it and gives Jane a ticket number so she can track the status. Anu also lets her know that she still has six months left on both her tech support and industrial data center warranties. During this time, Jane's production was not affected. No matter what your virtualization projects call for, Rockwell Automation Services provides trained ITOT professionals with one number to call for all support needs and an average three-minute response time, all at a price that fits your budget. Contact your local Rockwell Automation office or distributor to learn more.